Hey guys, so after six months of work, the Totoro project is officially finished. It's really cool to see such a massive project come to life with the help of a big team. I've counted 21 unique blogs that posted articles about our project in many different languages, so it's nice to see our work get recognized. So now we are beginning the world of Howl's Moving Castle. You might have seen me mention the castle built by one of our managers. He built that as a personal project, and now we are going to build the entire world from the movie that surrounds that castle. This project will be on a much greater scale than Spirited Away and Totoro combined. It spans multiple cities spread out across a fictional country. The first step was to design the terrain using World Painter, a third-party program that lets you shape terrain very easily. Custom brushes can be used to simulate mountains, and custom materials can be applied to paint rock only when the slope is greater than 45 degrees, giving it a nice mountainous texture and then a layer of frost is added to the top of each mountain. Rivers and forests were also painted in. Farmland was created by drawing paths to separate the plots, filling them in using a custom material that lays rows of dirt, and then covering that with a custom layer that lays crops over any dirt block. Doing this in World Painter was much faster than if we had builders do it. Once the terrain was finished, then we could start adding houses and buildings. There are three major cities featured in the movie. The first city is the town that Sophie lives in, called Market Chipping, a cute city on a river surrounded by mountains. Right now there is a single building built as a reference for scale, and the layout of the rest of the town is still being figured out. Second, we have the ocean city of Port Haven, a port city on a hill that overlooks a bay. It is being filled in very quickly with shops and inns and boats. One of the battleships that goes out to war has also been built. The last city is the capital, Kingsbury. This is a huge project by itself, but as our team grows, the more quickly we can finish it. The Kingsbury Palace is already almost done, and it's massive. There are also two major landmarks seen in the movie. The Flower Meadow, Howl's getaway place surrounded by mountains and filled with flowers, which in our case has yet to be filled with flowers, and Star Lake, the expansive lake that Howl's castle takes a rest at and Sophie and Mark will dry their laundry. It's so big that the farthest render distance is not enough to see it all. Hopefully this map can someday be viewed with the render distance of the Windows 10 version of Minecraft. Since our texture pack is full of Japanese textures, and this map is very much European and not Japanese, we are creating a separate texture pack by taking the old texture pack and gradually replacing textures to fit the European style. There are already over 30 new blocks and many more that need to be made. This block is a pillar type block, so depending on how you place it, you get a different texture, so the diagonal wooden beams seen in many of the houses can be designed that way, using one block. And just because Totoro is done doesn't mean we're not going to keep adding things to it. The command block artist Gamer Guppy, who you might have seen through his rotational boat dynamics video, has joined our team and is working on a functional cat bus that you can ride. It needs to be skinned with a cat bus body, but the prototypes I've seen so far look amazing. Coincidentally, his partner in the boat dynamics video, Onoware, is also on our team, and he was responsible for redesigning our field flooding system in Spirited Away. So we are still accepting new builders. Our style has switched from Japanese to European, so this should open the playing field a bit more, since more people excel in building European-styled houses. Also with the new world, many new textures need to be made, and I can't do all of them myself. So if you excel in making textures and block models, please apply and include examples of your work. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.